Welcome to Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering at the University of Virginia. My name is Eric Loth. I'm the chair of the department, and the faculty, staff, and students here are really trying to do things that will change the world. We're looking at cyber physical systems, including drones and robots that can help protect us and help look into ways to understand our nature and environment for the future. We're looking into biomedical applications, including sensors within the body and understanding for example, how a car crash, we can better protect the occupants. We're looking into energy systems, both how to produce energy and as well as extract it in clean and renewable ways. And with these three thrust areas, we can really have a big impact in society. And most importantly at all, the faculty and staff really want to have a big impact on our students and make sure that we're advocates all the way and that you have a fantastic career going forward. So come on in. Hi, I'm Les Williams, Professor of Practice at UVA Engineering in the Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering Department. I teach a class called the Business of Engineering. When I graduated from UVA in 2000 with my Mechanical Engineering degree, I realized that numbers are important, but what's even more important are the people and the processes. So after I left the auto industry, got my MBA at Harvard Business School, the case study method was worshiped there, and that's what I'm gonna teach. As undergrads and grads take my class, what I want them to learn is it's important to be an ethical leader just as much as it's important to be a smart, financially minded business leader. So please, when you come to UVA Engineering as a grad or undergrad, take the business of engineering and become a better leader. Hi, I'm Professor Patrick Hopkins, Director of the Excite Lab and Professor of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. Our lab is focused on solving the world's energy problem by reducing, reusing, and recycling heat in materials. We use laser systems to measure the heat transfer properties of materials. This is our rapid prototyping lab within the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. I'm Professor Gavin Garner. And these are high-end professional grade 3D printers. We have three Stratasys F170 printers, an F370. These are mostly for ABS or ASA prints, along with all of them are polycarbonate. We also have this brand new Fortis F380MC, which can print carbon fiber parts, and we have a polyjet machine at Object Conics 500, allows us to do very high resolution photopolymer based parts. In case you're not familiar with these professional grade 3D printers, because they have a dissolvable support material, any shapes are possible and basically effortless. So you can make parts that come out fully assembled, and all you have to do is throw them into a chemical bath, and things like this just pop out fully functional. Thank you for stopping by. Let's head downstairs to check out some of our graduate research labs. Hello. I thought I'd tell you about a couple of the projects we have that are sponsored by Rolls-Royce, which is part of the University Technology Center here at the University of Virginia. First of all, this is a project that Adam Tete has uh, developed to understand how nanocomposite material surfaces can reduce ice adhesion. So this is an actual wind tunnel that's refrigerated so we can actually simulate ice as you would get in the aerospace conditions. And also we're doing work with wind turbines. We got a big facility up at uh, Colorado that we interact with all the time, but we're also interested in renewable energy, extracting energy from rivers. And this is a facility that's part of Quinn's research group. Hi, I'm Professor Tomo Furukawa, the director of the Victor Lab. As you can see here that we are developing uh, a uh, wide range of uh, robots, including ground vehicles uh, and aerial vehicles. We are developing these robots uh, for uh, helping humans uh, for surveillance, inspection, uh, rescue, and many other purposes. So I have been working on robots for over a quarter century, but the students are the most important contributors of developing such a robot. Welcome to the Aerospace Research Laboratory. My name is Chris Glenn and I'm Associate Professor in Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. Here at this lab, we're developing cutting edge technology for aerospace applications, including high speed flight and um, space access for transport into orbit around the Earth. We're developing the new technology that's going to be used in high speed aircraft that can fly five times the speed of sound or hypersonic Mach numbers. We're also developing technology and propulsion systems that could be used for access to space so that we can get into space more cheaply and more safely than current technology. Hi, welcome to the UVA Reacting Flow Lab, which houses research conducted by myself, Professor Chloe Dedek, and my colleague, Professor Harsha Chalaya. Professor Chalaya's research focuses on combustion, fuel pyrolysis, and designing novel materials and coatings for turbine blades. 
My research is focused on developing the next generation laser-based measurement systems to study high speed and reacting flows. We use ultra short laser pulses to freeze flow dynamics and to probe gas phase reactions without interrupting the system that we're trying to study. Our research is motivated by the need to develop next generation engines, propulsion systems, and hypersonic vehicles that are robust, reliable, with minimal impact on our environment. Our research combines state-of-the-art laser systems with facilities that are really unique to the University of Virginia. Hi, I'm Sean Russell. I'm the director of the University of Virginia's Motion Analysis and Motor Performance Lab. So come on in and I'll show you around. This is the Motion Lab. We are part of orthopedics and engineering. We, tend, we bring people in with uh, different disabilities and we try to understand how they move and why they move the way they do. If we can understand disabilities and how they impact our movement, we can then go and work with surgeons, physical therapists to come up with ways to help these people move better. We can come up with assistive devices like walkers to help them go to school and interact with their peers. Hi, I'm Jason Carey, Associate Professor of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering and director of the University of Virginia Center for Applied Biomechanics. Here at the Center for Applied Biomechanics, we're doing research on injury biomechanics, which is where we apply mechanical engineering to study failures or injuries in the human body. Our research is used to develop prevention systems to prevent injuries from happening to soldiers on the battlefield, to everyone driving a car or riding in a car, and athletes on the field. Thank you so much for watching our video. We know that because of the pandemic, you can't be here in person to visit, but please follow us on social media or visit mae.virginia.edu. We look forward to seeing you and thank you so much. Wahoo wah.